Let's review Math Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 28, Multi-Digit Multiplication and Division, Topic G, Division of Thousands, Hundreds, Tens, and Ones. First, we're going to divide 297 into four groups. So 297 divided by 4. I can represent 297 on my place value chart. I have two hundreds. I have nine tens. And I have seven ones. Then what I can do is I can I can look over here at the hundreds and then attempt to divide the hundreds into my four groups. But I only have two hundreds. So I'm going to have to trade those hundreds in for tens. So I'm going to draw a line through this hundred and I'm going to exchange it or I'm going to unbundle it or regroup or you could say decompose. I'm going to decompose this hundred into ten tens. Now I'm going to decompose the other hundred into ten tenths. Ten tenths is equal to one hundred. Ten times ten is a hundred. So now instead of having two hundreds on my place value chart, I'm representing it as twenty tens. And because I had nine tens in here before, now I have twenty-nine tens. So twenty-nine tens and seven ones divided into four groups. What I'll do is I'll come over here and I'm going to draw lines and kind of scratch out the tens that I'm using. And I'm going to do four of them. And I'm going to put these into groups, to four groups. One, two, three, and four. So I'm going to draw out some more here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, 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 and four. And then one, two, three, and four. I want to talk about this ten right here. I can't take this ten and put it into these groups yet because it's still one whole 10. I need to decompose this 10. So this 10 I'm going to decompose and I'm going to trade in for 10 ones because one 10 is equal to 10 ones. Now I have my ones over here. So this is 10, and I had 7, so now I have 17 ones. So I need to distribute these 17 ones into my four groups. And I'll use the same process I did before.
Check it to go one more time, I think. Okay, so now what I have is I have a group, and it's, this is one of my groups right here, and inside this group I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens, and I have one, two, three, four. ones. Seven tens and four ones is equal to 74. So what I want to do is I want to show how we can use long division to divide. So we're going to take our 297 divided by 4 and we're going to use the standard long division algorithm for that. So, but I want to relate it back to what we did with our place value chart. So you see how I have 297 here, and here I had 297. I said, okay, I have two hundreds. I can't put the two hundreds into four groups, so I'm going to have to unbundle those. I'm going to have to decompose those two hundreds into 20 tens. I put the 20, these 20 tens with the 9 tens, and now I have 29 tens. So 29 tens divided into four groups, we said that there was seven, and here they are. These are the seven tens. Seven tens times four is equal to 28 tens. If I subtract, I'll get one ten left over. So you remember I took that one ten that I had left over and I decomposed it into ten ones, and I put it with the seven ones I had before. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I have seventeen ones that I want to divide into four groups. Well, one, two, three, four ones ended up in the group. So I put a four here. Four ones times four is equal to 16 ones. Then I subtract and I have one remaining. And here's that one that's remaining. Right here. So my quotient is 74 with a remainder of one. So, let's check our answer using multiplication. If I multiply my quotient times my divisor plus my remainder, I should get my dividend. So let's check it. If we multiply 74 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16. Put my 10 here and my 1's here. 4 times 7 is 28, plus the other 10 would be 29 tens. And then I have to remember this part, 296 plus my remainder equals 297, which is my dividend. How many weeks are in one year? Well, we're going to solve this using this rectangle. We're going to think about this rectangle being the whole year. So what do we know about a year? Well, we know that one whole year is 365 days. And every now and then it's 366 every four years. So I'm going to put that number here just so we can kind of keep that in mind that, that yeah it's 365 most of the time and which is what we're going to use but sometimes it's 366. 
Okay, so if I want to know how many weeks are in one year, I also need to know how many days are in a week. Because what I'll do is I'll say, okay, part of this rectangle, and we'll say this part right here, is going to be equal to one week. So how many days would that be? Seven days are in one week. But we don't know how many weeks would make up a year yet. But we can see that if we divide our 365 days into sections where there's seven days each, then we should be able to count the number of sections we have and find out how many weeks we have. But what are we really doing when we separate this rectangle into sections and figure out how many are in each section? What we're doing is we're dividing. So we're going to use the division algorithm to solve this. We're going to divide our number of days in a year, 365, into groups of seven days. So this is our group of seven days. We're going to find out how many groups of seven days we have in 365. Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to look at these 300s, and I'm going to say, okay, can't take those 300s and separate them into seven groups. So I need to trade in these hundreds. I need to unbundle them, or I need to decompose them into tens. But I can kind of look at this right here, and this is telling me how many tens I have in this number. If I look at 365, I know I have 36 tens. So if I have 36 tens here, how many tens would be in each group of seven? Well, I can use multiplication to help me with this. I know that seven times five is 35. So since seven times five is 35, that's pretty close to 36. Now I have 35 tens because five tens times seven is 35 tens. Now I will subtract and that'll give me one ten. I'll take this one ten and I'll put it with my five ones that gives me 15. Fifteen ones separated into groups of seven would give me two groups. Two times seven would be fourteen. Now I can subtract and see I have a remainder of one. So Remember how I said sometimes we have 366 days? Well, if we think about this, this time we used 365, and I had one remainder. 52 weeks with one day remaining. If I were to, to do this with 366 days, that 10 that I had, I would have added the six ones to that, and then still subtracted 14, and I would have two days remaining. So how many weeks are in one year? 52 weeks are in a year. All right, that's going to do it for lesson 28. We've been working to represent and solve three-digit dividend division with divisors of 2, 3, 4, and 5 numerically. You can get a collection of all of our videos at um, tinyurl.com slash lpssmath4. It's my on-course website, and I'm trying to get all the videos linked to there. You just click on one of the topics, and you'll get a little PDF like this. You can also download and save these PDFs and email them to parents. You can also go to lpssonline.com, hover over Parent Command Center, scroll down to Math Resources, click on 4th grade, click on the parent newsletters. The newsletter, you click on, we're working on topic G, so you click on G and you get the newsletter. Also, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will find other helpful videos.